the election commission has put out the sealed covers that but that's very interesting that those sealed covers show that some of the smaller parties have disclosed the donors we don't have to go into no all that because, uh, that's because, not our remit at all no no I yes, uh, we, what has happened after the judgment is not something we are concerned not after the all. judgment what i'm saying now so what i'm saying is this that since the order of the very recently i was asked about my about a critique on a judgment i did not mention no, which no. judgment and i said that look it's no part of the role of a judge least of all of a constitutional court or even a civil judge to defend their views once we declare a judgment it becomes public property it's the property of the notion if there is the property of the nation and so, uh, i was only saying that your lordship's interim order of april 2019 asked the political parties to disclose the name of the donor the information given by the political parties to the election commission only a few of the political parties the smaller politi regional political parties some of them have dis have disclosed he is not addressing your lordship he is addressing somewhere else see, kindly hear him for some time are, so then it comes yes, followed in the newspaper amazing. tomorrow see, mr see, prashant bhushan vehemently said this amazing. that's the purpose it is not public interest litigation now become publicity interest litigation it is public interest litigation there are some hidden agenda some they are not doubt followed and i am not followed apologetic in things i am i am astonished and that is that is the matter of greatest concern because judgments given malod for high constitutional principles then are used for people, purposes other than what they are delivered Unfortunately, so, senior lordship's yeah. majesty would so, 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 not know what are the hidden agendas behind this. Dictated short order. I, I just you know, pointed out that we are necessarily expanding upon because, the remit because, the, because, because the, the major political parties, parties have this, not disclosed the donor. Just give us two minutes to therefore, so we'll, therefore, what all all the time requesting is that the disclosure of the details of the bonds should actually start from the beginning of the issue of the bonds, not just from the interim order, because. Uh, this is leading to a second, situation one second we got the point you filed an application on that in our order they have filed an just what mr santar is just one more do it in a very cool and calm uh, atmosphere it's a constitutional adjudication yes, right yes. we you know in our interim order we said that the disclosure shall be made with effect from the date of the interim order yes 12th of april 2019 yes. right or wrong we have taken a conscious decision that the cut off will be the date of our interim order and We we also explain why we took that date. We said after that date, of course, the Constitution Bench has an op ha has an option to go all the way back from the date of the bond or from the date of the judgment. Some place via media, some via media in between. We took 12th of April 2019 because it was our considered view of all of us five that once that interim order was pronounced, everybody was on notice. What we told Mr. Rodgi. Now we have maintained that if you want that to go back to 2018, that's in the nature of a review of the judgment. So the only reason why I'm saying that. You can't modify that date. No, the only reason because your lordship asked the uh, political parties to give donor details to the election commission prior to that interim order, and some of while some of the political parties have given donor details. Other political parties have not given donor details. The major political parties have not given donor details. And one political party, which is in power in one of the states, says that somebody came and left it under our door. Ten crores of electoral bonds was left under our door. We don't know who it was. So therefore, I am saying that because this is leading to a situation, though your lordship asked the political parties to disclose donor details by that interim order. Only some political parties. We have understood the target, yes. but we, what we are directing was the, the numbers are given. It will sort out a lot of problems. A lot oh, of your issues. Will but for that period of uh, 2018 till oh, that April, we are not doing an review. We have taken a conscious. Decision. We are we are facing a situation, situation where the Mr. Bhushan, this will really be a substantive, substantive modification of the judgment. We can't do it like this in a miscellaneous application. No. And in the light of the disclosure, which has come to light of the political parties, that's why I'm saying. And this is not a. If the political parties had disclosed the donor details, this would not be required. Draw the line somewhere. We had to hold the balance. We held the balance ultimately. As your lordship pleases, but I just can I can I just 